really critical stuff. I mean, for the guy who wants to be the next governor, he's trying to be relatable. My kids, they made an Instagram account for our cat. This segment is brought to you by Eastside Weight Loss Clinic. Some patients like me can lose 20 to 30 pounds in a month or two. Schedule your free 15 minute consultation today at eastsideweightlossclinic.com. I'm sure all of you watched Bob Ferguson's speech. I'm sure you were glued to TVW for the entirety of the Democratic convention. But in case you weren't, here's Bob Ferguson after he took the stage. Are you ready to make sure we elect Democrats up and down the ballot this year? And will you help me permanently send to political retirement Dave Reichert in November? I have to laugh at that one because Dave Reichert was in retirement. But Bob Ferguson is so terrifying and the prospect of him becoming governor was so terrifying that Dave Reichert is like, well, I guess I'll leave my comfy retirement in Chelan and run for governor to save the state from this whack job. So, yeah, he would rather he would much rather be in retirement. Um, but the prospect of you running our state is so bad for the future of our state that he had to come out of retirement to do it, which is saying a lot. All right. So um, Bob went on to say he was just given three minutes to speak. OK, so he wasn't like a featured speaker. Mark Mullet couldn't speak. He was given only three minutes to speak. So he obviously focused those three minutes on the critical issues facing the state of Washington. Now, look, I've got three minutes. I'm going to make three quick points. Number one, on behalf of my 16-year-old twins who are not old enough to vote, but they are under, old enough to understand social media in a way their father does not. Some of you know he, they've created an Instagram page for the campaign. We have a cat named Peter. Why am I telling you this? Uh, Peter has his own following now. The Instagram page they have created for the campaign is called Peter for First Cat. They want Peter to be the first cat of Washington. So if you go to Instagram and you search Peter for first cat, you will find him. And you will make them very happy if you follow Peter for first cat. I literally think he's got more followers than me at this point, Shasti. He's a very popular cat. So check him out. No, thanks. Okay, I did go check out the cat. The cat's pretty cute. I'm not going to blame the cat for his owner. I'm not going to blame the cat for his owner. But uh, yeah, really critical stuff. I mean, for the guy who wants to be the next governor, he's trying to be relatable. My kids, they made an Instagram account for our cat. And I was like, okay, I went to the account. The cat's cute, so I'll give him that. But I'm still not following, out of principle, I'm not following the cat's Instagram account. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's get to, uh, oh, Bob for, I cannot believe he hearkened back to this. So Bob Ferguson, this clip was making the rounds on social media. He acknowledged how close the race is going to be, uh, although he brought up an example that I'm not sure is the best example to raise. Here it is. I want to communicate to all of you how close this election for governor is going to be. Now, look, I know it's easy to think, hey, Washington's a blue state, right? But if you look at the last two campaigns for governor in Washington state, when there was no incumbent on the ballot running, so that's Chris Gregoire running and Jay Inslee running, the last two times, the total margin of victory for both Chris Gregoire and Jay Inslee combined three percentage points. Chris Gregoire won her election against a then unknown Dino Rossi by 133 votes. In other words, four times the people, right, are in this room then decided that election. Jay Inslee won a hard fought campaign against Rob McKenna with 51.5% of the vote. This campaign will be close. Yeah, I'm not sure the Dino Rossi campaign with Chris Gregoire, the one that like had to be counted and recounted and recounted and then all of a sudden they found the votes. Not sure that's the, the example that you give. Um, I don't know if that'll motivate Republicans or not, though, to think that it'll be 133 votes. Uh, I, I don't know where he's getting that, if he thinks it's just going to be as close as the 2004 race. I mean, it's, it's certainly going to be close. I think a lot of it's going to come down to, I mean, I'm glad he recognizes that, but there's also strategy there, right? Like he wants to make sure that the money keeps coming in, even though he's already got uh, uh, millions and millions of dollars in his campaign fund. Um, but, you know, there's so... I'm frustrated over the weekend. I'm going to talk more about this tomorrow. But there are Semi Bird supporters who are on social media saying that they will not vote for Dave Reichert if he beats Semi in the primary. I'm like, you guys are so, I'm sorry. I don't like to name call. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I really hope that you're not being sincere because we are talking about like a, a percentage point. So anyway, we shall see.